Welcome to the channel. So we're switching to Husky liners from WeatherTech for our 2019 F-250. Here's a look at the WeatherTechs that were in the F-250 for the last year. Overall, the product did hold up with a little bit of wear and tear there where the feet go. It's not like they failed or anything, but I was a little bit unhappy about the curling here on the ends. And, uh, you know, I did get a little water underneath my... Uh, underneath the carpet or on the carpet and I think the reason is maybe because of these uh, connections I don't know I'm not sure exactly why but I'm gonna try husky liners and see if they're any better now this is not to uh, bash weather tech uh, they do make a good product but I'm gonna try the husky liners and see how they work out all right so right away we ordered the center hump as well and that's already taken out of the box and installed i felt like it was a little bit flimsy but once i put it in it seemed like it fits really well so i can't really complain too much one thing i did notice is that it did have the spikes underneath i got it pulled flipped up here pulled up and you can see that it has spikes i don't know if that's going to hurt the vinyl or anything we'll see i'm not sure if the mats actually have the spikes just maybe it's just a center hump but we'll see how it goes there's no real weight uh on this part of the vehicle so it should be okay uh but i thought that i felt like it was a little thin the center hump but we'll open up the mats and see how those look all right pulling the husky liners out of the box uh there are no push pins or locating pins on the bottom of the mats specifically ordered that way so it would not damage the vinyl floors and it must just be uh something you have to deal with for the center mounted uh hump because they probably just don't want to make that many different parts uh, you do have holes here and I think we'll just kind of see how that works out if it's an issue or not I believe both sides should have those holes yep looks like they got it right um, we'll see how it goes will the holes leak or not I don't know if it's gonna be an issue it looks like they have a nice big hump here to hold the hold any moisture in and they are surrounded by pretty nice size humps so let's go ahead and get these in the truck and see how they look all right so they're installed in the truck here and the fitment is pretty good here's the passenger side we got the transmission hump right there it looks good uh fits real good uh, where they meet i like the idea of having the transmission hump separate because you cannot really quickly take out one piece and spray it off if you want to because it's so hard to get the entire piece out of the vehicle having a three-piece setup is a lot better because I can pop one side out and clean it you know maybe the passenger side doesn't need to be cleaned and just going with the one piece that goes across the whole thing which is what weather tech offers it makes it really difficult to clean the the uh, mats off so they would go a good six seven months without getting cleaned but looking here at what we have, the fitment's pretty good. Uh, maybe it could be a little bit tighter here, but it shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't cause any issues or anything. Uh, the lift here on this side could be a little better. It's kind of popping up just a little bit. Um, and I noticed the weather techs did that pretty bad after a while. We'll see how it goes. It looks like they put a little bit more uh effort here to prevent the curling that i have with the weather tags the material is very similar with to the weather tags these are not their uh softer feel material and i think uh if these were out like the weather tags did it's probably because of this hard material um but we'll see you know we'll put these through the paces for a whole year and uh we'll see how they compare to the uh to the weather text so let me show you guys the driver side all right and here is the driver side uh, actually fits a little better than a little bit better than the passenger side there's no lifting here like on the passenger side and I think that uh, if I figure out how to just hold that down for a couple of days maybe with some tape or something it'll have a little bit of memory and kind of stay in that position but the driver side fits really good a little bit less of a gap here um, than compared to the other side but overall fits really nice they look nice we'll see how they work out you know if they uh, work any better than the uh, than the uh, weather text one thing I wish that could be included in the mats 
is if they somehow figured out how to get this to come all the way out to here to the outside seam if at all possible I don't know if that's even possible with the door the way it shuts and everything I don't know if that is something that they can do and not have issues with it curling or getting crushed by the door it might be a limitation where it has to just stop here but I'm wondering if uh, this dumping off so much water right at this point and then it just goes right down to your uh, valley where your harness is and everything when you're in and out of the truck you know 30 times in the winter uh, you bring snow in to the vehicle and you can kick off your shoes but still brings in a little bit and after a while you just end up soaking the uh, floor so what I'm thinking is hopefully these are a little bit better because they have a nice big ridge here compared to the weather techs I guess the weather techs have a similar ridge design as well maybe not as much I don't know it's hard to tell but we'll see how it goes like I say it looks nice uh, the full setup the full deal um, I think it's gonna work out nicely um, the hump seems to be good if there's anything you're gonna skip out if you're ordering this and there's anything you want to skip out on uh, maybe skip out on the hump because it is some of the thinner cheaper material I mean once it's in the truck it looks good you know it looks nice but uh, out of the whole kit, I think it it's kind of a, I can't remember the exact price, but it's a little bit of an expensive item in the kit. And the uh, the looks the look the look is good with the with the hump. But if anything, if you had to skip it, probably skip the hump because it is more money to get the hump. But anyway, guys, I want to show you a full look at our truck here. We just put the salt dog spreader on. Uh, this thing's hot at all times pretty slick uh, I put it on the seat I went for the seat mounting uh, with it everything runs and works pretty good this is how it looks on the back of the truck and I uh, just installed that what I did is I put the uh, wiring underneath the seat here so it goes down underneath the seat and I added a hole there. Initially I put it through the hole here, but it was causing me to have a little bit of a hump in the carpet. So I switched that over to being directly under the seat. That way my feet wouldn't be touching it or interrupting it and eventually causing the wires to chafe. So I wanted them to be in a spot where they could not chafe or, you know, where they wouldn't be wiggled or moved or anything. Uh, I left enough wiring to move the seat back and forth uh, without causing any issues at all. Um, it works out real nice. Generally, I don't move the seat, but uh, that works out real nice. And it's out of the way, and it's easy to reach. So we're going to see how it works out. I think it's going to be nice. And uh, from there, the wiring goes down. We have a nice stainless steel snowplow on this truck. It's a Fisher XLS. So if you're interested in that kind of content, stay tuned to the channel. Stainless steel and silver truck. And uh, it's got this truck's got 430 gears, dual batteries. Um, this is a one yard salt spreader, which is, in my opinion, perfect for this truck because of the weight that it can carry. One yard is going to be about 2,000 pounds, 2,200 pounds. The spreader itself weighs about 300 pounds. So, you know, you load this spreader full of salt and you're talking... 25 2600 pounds which is perfect for an f-250 with 3200 pound payload i believe something like that the truck's payload is 33 so you got a thousand pounds on the front you got 2600 pounds in the back you know you're you can easily overload this truck just with this small spreader so you know, you got to think if you put the full one yard in it, you could go over your payload, even though it's not the bigger spreader. I could have sprung and put a two yard in it, but I figured I'd try the one yard, see if it works out. I don't need or I legally really can't even hold two yards like over my uh, growth vehicle weight ratings. But check out the box that I built to prevent it from sliding around. You have to build this box to, to give it kind of a stop uh, going forward in conjunction with the straps even though the straps would probably be enough you don't want to slam a snow pile with 2,000 pounds 
of unsecured weight just with the straps pulling on just two bolts you know back down there so we got the straps this um, box that I built is actually got pressure against the spreader um, actually forced the wood that way before I secured it in the same